Ladies and gentlemen, here we are with the Ninja 650. We are going to go out here and give this a shot. Oh, very comfortable riding position on the Ninja 650. We are... Ronnie's configuration is interesting. Kind of sticks out like that. The forks are non-adjustable, standard forks. Yeah, preload adjustable in the rear. This does have Kawasaki traction control, but nothing else. You know, ABS, obviously, but nothing else past that. Upright. Here we go. Okay, so, again, 649cc parallel twin, sporty riding position, uh, slight lean forward, well, it's a decent lean forward, uh, foot pegs are behind, and a little bit raised, not super low, or, but they're, they're raised up a little bit, and they're not super high, but they're raised up a little bit. Should have adjusted that mirror. <laughs> Second gear. Oh, somebody just bumped it. So, coming out on this route, the 650. What do I think here? The Ninja 650. You're coming off of a Ninja 400, you don't feel like you need or want the power from the Ninja 1000, which the Ninja 1000 is a handful, 140 brake horsepower. This is uh, 67 brake horsepower, 47 foot-pounds of torque, and still a very comfortable riding position, very much like the Ninja 400. Um, if I'm being honest, this is very easy to ride it's the power delivery is very linear very smooth very predictable it's not crazy man I am this is like really vibey like I'm talking about in the seat it's very you got a lot of vibration in the seat See again, let me get a chance to actually get up to speed. No, it's God, that is very vibey in the seat and the tank and the foot pegs and the handlebars. Yeah, yeah, this is just, just a vibration machine. This is this is weird, it's just shaking everywhere. Just vibration, constant vibration. Already, no, don't, no, I don't want this bike. I, I, I will never recommend this bike. This bike is insane. The vibration, you have to, you have to ride this all the time. And if I have to live like this, I would not enjoy riding. And that would be a nightmare for me obviously because I love riding just not this bike it's too vibrational and I've only been on it for three minutes four minutes maybe I mean it's just the vibration level is insane right now I'm not happy with this bike at all Kawasaki what did you do how can this bike have the same, pretty much the same engine as that bike? I feel like I'm having my nuts shaking right now. Oh my god. No, ladies and gentlemen, I'm already going to tell you. Bypass the Ninja 650. Don't buy it. In my opinion, do not buy this bike. Yeah, fine power delivery for the street. 
just fixes the vibrations. And until Kawasaki fixes the vibration, it's not worth buying, in my opinion. There are other options out. Sorry, I couldn't uh, give you guys a better take on the Ninja 650. Um, you know, if you own one, maybe I'm wrong. But I don't think I'm wrong because I feel it in my ass right now. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, back again. Ninja 650.